Verification of Ohm's Law George Simon Ohm, a German physicist, established a relation between the current flowing through a conductor and the potential difference at its ends. This relation between potential difference and current is called Ohm's Law. Ohm's Law states that the current flowing through a conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference across the ends of the conductor provided the temperature remains constant. That is, V is directly proportional to the current flowing through the circuit or V is equal to Ri where V is the potential difference, R is the constant of proportionality called the resistance of the conductor and I is the current flowing through the circuit. R is equal to V by I is the mathematical representation of Ohm's law. Shown here is a circuit with a suitable voltmeter for measuring the potential difference V across a resistance box Q and a milliammeter for measuring the current I flowing through the resistance box. A rheostat is used for varying the current and potential difference in the circuit. Click on the key to close the circuit. Record the values of V and I in the observation table. Now vary the position of the slider of the rheostat and record V and I. Record at least five values of V and I by adjusting the position of the slider of the rheostat. Calculate V by I in each case. The value of V by I is found to be equal to a constant R, which is the resistance of the conductor, thus verifying Ohm's law. This holds good only if the temperature remains constant. The unit of resistance is Ohm. The Greek letter Omega is used to represent the unit of resistance Ohm. Click on the link provided to remember the relation between V, R and I. A simple way to remember Ohm's law is to visualize the triangle V, R, I. For finding the value of any of the variables, simply hide that variable and get the value of the hidden variable. Thus, when we hide V, we get R into I. Hence, V is equal to R into I. Similarly, if we hide R, we get R is equal to V by I. And if I is hidden, we get I is equal to V by R.